Hey everyone, I'm back just with a really quick update following on from my last video. Thank you again for all the questions and comments that I got. Always really appreciate getting that feedback and just engaging with people. Um, it's great to see that you know people are as excited about this as I have been over the last couple months. I wanted to share some footage that I filmed while I was building that first engine. I didn't include it in my first video, but I did think it was kind of cool. It shows how the thrust reversers activate, and a lot of this is no longer visible because it's been covered up by the skin and by other things, but it is cool just to see how the internal uh, mechanics work um, when they're completely exposed. This video shows how the switch that's in the pylon connects to the upper and lower pieces of paper that slide along a track and control the aft portion of the cowling that slides back and forth. So it's all just linked internally with a piece of paper that passes through the core of the engine and it all just slides together. So it's pretty simple in principle, but um, I was surprised that it worked as smoothly as it did in the end. There were some questions from that last video. First, around those cascade vanes that you can see when the cowling opens up and the thrust reversers are deployed. I did not uh, cut each little square out of that by hand. That would be crazy, even by my standards. Uh, what I did is I printed out a grid, and then I took thin strips of the paper and glued them crosswise uh, to form a kind of mesh, and then I glued that into the engine. Uh, so it kind of achieved a similar effect. The next question I got, and this is something that people ask me all the time and they have for many years, is how I get the paper to conform to a rounded surface, uh, you know, to essentially to curve in two directions. And so what I do is I generally subdivide the surface into smaller pieces because there's only so much you can curve the paper um, without it starting to wrinkle and crease. And so assuming I were going to be covering this middle section of the cowling, I would subdivide it, in this case, into 16 different sections, um, all of which are the same size. I would trim the paper down to be a little bit bigger than the area I'm trying to cover, and then I would put it up against this rubber eraser block and rub it with the rounded end of this uh, highlighter. It could be anything that has the same rounded shape, something where you can kind of press in a circular motion against that soft rubber surface and it'll start to deform the paper and give it that 3D shape. And then I would take that and hold it against the engine structure and see where it needs to be trimmed. I'd trim off a little bit, wash, rinse, repeat. You have to do it many, many times. I think each of these little sections of paper probably took me about 30 minutes at least. So it's a very time consuming process, but if you stick with it, you can get some pretty convincing results. And that's how I covered this whole engine. It's definitely an art, not a science. And lastly, um, just because I can't help myself seemingly, I built these two boxes for the two engines that I'm eventually gonna have. I have been building these here in Boston, but the rest of the plane is in San Francisco, and eventually I'll have to bring them back west to attach them to the rest of the model along with the wings. And so I just wanted something I could store them in for now and transport them in eventually uh, that would keep them safe and you know prevent any damage from happening in transit. So this is what I came up with. I do love making you know little boxes like this, whether they be for this project or you know I've done them for people's gifts and stuff like that. I love the process of you know putting them together. Uh, so I just wanted to share that as a last thing. So hopefully I will have more to share in the coming months with that time lapse and any other progress I make. But that's it for now. I'll talk to you guys later.